Hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus. As you be talking about a month ago, two months ago now, I did a road trip from my place in Nebraska out to Michigan, back around Indianapolis, through Tennessee, back home. One of the interesting things that happened during that trip was checking out the octane levels. I did a fuel economy drive, and so a lot of times I was showing the gas pump. And so like yesterday, I was getting gas, and I noticed that we have four different octane levels here in Nebraska, like 87, or 85, 87, 89, 91. Uh, Phil, the video editor, he's in the East Coast, sent me some video of his octane levels that he has on at his area. So it created some interesting questions for me as a journalist and as a truck guy. I've always used regular. I talked to engineers, they're like, what kind of gas do you need? Regular. You're like, we don't like premium, although there's certain trucks that require premium, but we want to use regular gas. And so is regular gas 85 or 87? Or what's the right octane rating? Since this really matters these days, the gas prices being so high, you wanna make sure you put the right octane rating in your vehicle. So I got, I got busy. I emailed all the manufacturers, did some research, so we know that, uh, or I learned, that as you get higher up in altitude, you will get lower octane ratings at gas stations. The idea is the air is less dense, and they can, they can mess with the gas and air mixture ratio. They can give you a lower octane, because that's how the ratio works out. That's that's the best scientific information I got from you on that one. <laughs> they just like, because we can off, we have less air, we can offer a different octane rating, you can spend less money in altitude at 85. 85 is actually 87, but not really. Hold on, not so fast. And so if you talk, if you go to pickuptrucktalk.com, there's a story on here, and I did a whole, uh, wrote it up, I put the quotes in here too. And so we know that octane ratings changes in altitude. So this is what we got from a, I'm gonna go through the statements one by one. Ford sent this really extensive statement over, and Ford says, the octane rating of the lowest octane grade offered at retail stations can be different in different in high altitude regions than other regions. They know this. Sometimes it is 85 AKI, which is the scientific numeral for the octane rating. So eight, or scientific, not numeral, but scientific lettering. So 85, sometimes 87, 86, sometimes 87. Regardless of location, fuel, fuel marketers will label this fuel grade as regular. So uh, they will call 85 regular, and in Michigan, they'll call 87 regular. In different parts of the country, they mess around with this stuff, depending where you're at. Um, Denver is 85. And I'm only at 3,000 feet, which is kind of crazy. Although there may be a standard octane rating for regular, there may not be a standard octane, octane rating for regular, Ford's octane re recommendation in the owner's manual remains the same unless you're driving a premium fuel only vehicle. So the 3.5 high output Ford EcoBoost, that's premium fuel only. And their recommendation is 87 at a minimum. So the actual language, and the language is actually the same as what they sent over to me. The biggest change here though, it says the use of these fuels below 87 octane could result in engine damage that will not be covered by vehicle warranty engine knock, you, you, you create more of a knock sound in the engine by using lower octane fuel. And they're saying not gonna cover that if it becomes a serious problem. So if you always run 85 and your engine's got a problem, they may check your gas and deny your warranty. Uh, that's a big deal, that's a big, di big deal. Now, they go further though, it says, allowing oil refineries to reduce the octane ratings of fuel at higher altitude is a practice carried over from many years ago. It was originally implemented because the octane needs requirements older vehicles, think vehicles with carburetors, was different at high altitude, lower temperatures compared to lower altitudes. We're talking about the gas uh, air mixture that was important in carburetor vehicles. And what they're saying now is you don't need it. It says, however, with today's modern vehicles that have electronic fuel injection, knock sensors, and other ways to adjust fuel and spark, the octane requirement of vehicles are no longer as sensitive to temperature altitude changes. However, these lower octane fuels continue to be available at retail stations in high altitude regions. So it's interesting. They're saying their vehicles and today's vehicles are so much better than what they were. You don't have to worry about octane so much because electronic fuel ejection, knock sensors, things, they'll adjust the fuel and spark depending on octane level in your vehicle. However, they still don't want to use it. <laughs> they want to use 87 only. So I thought it was interesting, but the, then the other brands, like I said, had all these different in answers. So Ford had this really impressive statement other brands had okay here's the deal ram says it recommends mid-grade 87 and 57 liter v8 hemi engine i'm not sure what the pentastar is a pentastar may be 80 87 but uh i asked about the, the hemi specifically 
Uh, it says yet 87 will suffice if 89 is not available. So Ram's like, you can use 87, but really we recommend 89. Ford's like, do not use anything less than 87. General Motors says it's two seven liter and five three liter engines have a minimum octane rating of 87, while a 6.2 has a minimum octane rate of 91. I thought it was 93. They came back and emailed me and said 91. GM added it states the octane number in the owner's manual because octane ratings change throughout the country. So we know this. So check your owner's manual. That's the best way to say it. I wish on the door flap of all the gas um, engines, on that fuel pump door opening, they put down the octane rating. Some vehicles that require premium fuel only do, but I think we all should have a sticker there. 87. Uh, Toyota says its truck uses 87 octane or higher without any changes of altitude. 87 or higher, that's it. Nissan had a more curious answer. Really curious, because the, the Titan is recommended to use premium fuel for maximum performance. We know this, and I threw a fit about it because I, I hate that that you can get extra horsepower and torque and get best in class by using premium fuel. I just, I, I don't like that at all. But they also said, when I asked about it, you can use whatever octane is available in the area. The engine computer will adjust the octane of what is being burned at that time. So I thought it was really interesting. I actually kind of think Nissan's answer is the most common sense answer saying, use whatever octane you want, the vehicle is smart enough to be able to handle octane numbers, which is kind of what Ford said, right? That, so they said today's electronic fuel injection, knock sensors and other ways to adjust fuel and spark, go ahead and use, you can go ahead and use lower octanes. However, don't cause you'll damage your engine long-term. <laughs> so, so, um, I, I left even a little more confused after writing the story and getting quotes. I mean, so I, I use 87 because that's what the truck recommends and I want to keep my stuff under warranty. But it seems to me these vehicles are smart enough. You can actually use 85 as long as it's in a pinch and maybe you don't use it all the time because the electronic fuel injection knocks sense and stuff like that can help you. However, I can't recommend that because you got to follow the owner's manual to keep your stuff under warranty. So I'm sure you guys have lots of opinions. I'm sure there's gonna be comments galore about what you've ran, what you didn't run. Uh, you probably got better performance with premium. Maybe you got better fuel economy with 87. I don't know. I, I've done fuel economy testing with premium versus non-premium and I don't see a whole lot of big benefit the fuel economy for the price you pay for extra for the premium fuel. But that said, I run all my small equipment in premium fuel because there's no ethanol in it and ethanol destroys my small engines and plugs up carburetors. Yeah. So I do pay attention to stuff. But anyways, I, I just thought it'd be interesting to share with, with you guys. As summer driving system season starts, we're doing a lot of more road trips. Just check your owner's manual. Follow your owner's manual is the best way I can say it. And then if you're in a pinch and you can save quite a bit of money, maybe 85 once in a while, it's not a big deal. But hey, that's what I got. If you're in the mountains in Colorado or Nebraska mountains, that doesn't make any sense. If you're anywhere with higher altitude, something to check out when you're at the gas pump. So for more, check the videos over here, website down below. As always. Thanks for watching. I'll see you down the road.